Greetings people of the world, we are Anonymous California. This is a video to let everyone in the world know that the Kern County Police have killed another innocent man in Wasco, California on January 27, 2015. His name was David Garcia. We are going to show all of you a picture of him and then what the eyewitness news covered about it. Please watch. New tonight, the man shot and killed by a sheriff's deputy yesterday in Wasco has been identified. The coroner's office says 33-year-old David Garcia was the one who was shot and killed. Earlier, we learned Deputy Robert Reed was the one who shot Garcia. The coroner's office has ruled Garcia's death a homicide. Deputy Reed is a 14-year veteran of the sheriff's office. He is now on administrative leave. The Kern County Sheriff's Office released additional detail Tuesday on the deputy-involved shooting. The coroner's office also released the name of the man who was shot, 33-year-old David Garcia. Deputies were called to a home on E Street in Wasco around 6.30 a.m. Monday to check on the welfare of a man who had made threats against himself. Garcia was also wanted on warrants for assault with a deadly weapon and spousal abuse. Two deputies made their way into the home, where they found Garcia holding a knife, a woman and three children. Garcia appeared to be cutting himself with the knife, according to the sheriff's office. A deputy used a stun gun to try and get Garcia under control, but that didn't work. Garcia and the woman then fought over the knife. Garcia then charged at one of the deputies, who responded by shooting him twice, according to the sheriff's office. Garcia later died at Delano Regional Medical Center. The woman and one child suffered minor injuries, according to the sheriff's office. The deputy who fired his gun, 14-year veteran SR. Deputy Robert Reed, was placed on routine administrative leave pending the outcome of an investigation. This is what the KERNGOLDENEMPIRE.com report. Please watch and then read. It's been 10 days since David Garcia was shot to death in his front yard by a sheriff's deputy in front of his wife and three children. His family is now searching for answers, but as new documents raise new questions, the sheriff's office has stopped speaking at all about the death. 17's Anne DeGrazia has been on the story since that shooting happened and has this update for us now. Anne? After the shooting on January 26, the sheriff's department spokesman said David Garcia was threatening suicide and brandishing a knife when deputies arrived at about 6.40 in the morning. The spokesman said Garcia charged at Deputy Robert Reed and Reed fired twice in self-defense. Now documents we've obtained show shell casings from two different weapons that were found in the yard near where Garcia fell. And cell phones, which may have captured audio or video of the shooting, were seized by detectives. The sheriff's department has declined to offer any explanation. We just want to know, you know, how he died, you know, why they shot him. This afternoon, David Garcia's family was cleaning up the mess left by sheriff's investigators who searched their house. Pictures taken by the family show where detectives dumped dresser drawers on the floor, overturned their beds, and searched the kids' backpacks. They seized cell phones and utility bills. In the front yard where the shooting happened, documents say investigators found one 40 caliber shell casing. You know, 40 caliber is what officers are issued. But they also found three 32 caliber shell casings. The documents don't say why, if Garcia was shot twice, only one 40 caliber casing was found. And they don't say where the 32 caliber casings might have come from. Although a sheriff's news release at the time of the shooting said the deputy fired twice, his wife said she saw the body after it was released by the coroner. He had two on his chest, one on his arm, and one on his back. But they didn't know if it was an entrance and exit form at first, but then to the shell casings that we found, it had to be the three in the front and one in the back. 
We asked to see the coroner's report, but were told it was sealed at the request of the sheriff's department. Denise Bonilla says she made an audio recording of the entire incident on her cell phone. The phone now in custody of the sheriff's department. As she waits for answers, Bonilla says she regrets calling authorities in the first place. Like now my thing is if I wouldn't have called 911, if I would have rushed him to the hospital myself, he might have still been alive. What are we supposed to do? If we can't trust the people that we think are there to help us, are we supposed to tell them, go ahead, commit suicide because they're going to kill you anyway? Again, we asked the Sheriff's Department and Sheriff Donnie Youngblood himself for answers to these questions. They said they wouldn't be able to answer until the investigation is complete. Meanwhile, Deputy Reed remains on paid administrative leave until review board determines whether the shooting was justified. Anna Grazia, 17 News. Ten days ago, David Garcia was shot to death in his front yard by a sheriff's deputy. His family is searching for answers and documents from the incident raise new questions. The sheriff's office has stopped speaking at all about the death. On the day of the incident, a sheriff's department spokesman said David Garcia was threatening suicide and brandishing a knife when two deputies arrived on scene. The spokesman said Garcia charged at Deputy Robert Reed. They said Reed fired twice in self-defense. Documents we've obtained show shell casings from two different weapons were found in the yard near where Garcia fell. And cell phones, which may have captured audio or video of the shooting were seized by detectives. The Sheriff's Department has declined to offer any explanation. David Garcia's wife Denise Benilla said they just want to know why and how he died. She said they have spent a lot of time the last week cleaning up the mess sheriff's investigators made. Benilla took pictures showing, dumped dresser drawers on the floor, an overturned bed, and her children's school books on the kitchen floor. According to one document the Sheriff's Department also took three cell phones and a utility bill. The document also said 140 caliber shell casing was found where the shooting happened. You know 40 caliber is what officers are issued said Vanilla. But they also found three 32 caliber shell casings. Documents don't say why. If Garcia was shot twice, only one 40 caliber casing was found. They don't say where the 32 caliber casings might have come from. Although a sheriff's news release at the time of the shooting said the deputy fired twice, Benilla said she saw the body after it was released by the coroner. He had two in his chest, one in his hand and one in his back. They didn't know if it was an entrance or exit wound but with the shell casings they found it had to be in the front and in the back said Benilla. The coroner's report is sealed at the request of the sheriff's department and will be until the investigation is complete. Benilla said she regrets calling the authorities in the first place. Now my thing is if I wouldn't have called 9-1-1 if I would have rushed him to the hospital myself, he might have still been alive. What are we supposed to do if we can trust the people that we think are there to help us? Are we supposed to tell them go ahead commit suicide because they are going to kill you anyway, said Vanilla. Meanwhile, Deputy Reed remains on paid administrative leave until a review board determines whether the shooting was justified. This is a post from the Justice for David Garcia Facebook page. Please read. On January 26, 2015, Kern County sheriffs were dispatched on a call of a man threatening to harm himself. Instead of helping, protecting, or serving, they murdered him. 
There have been a few conflicting stories surrounding the chain of events that took place but the most horrifying is one sheriff, 14-year veteran SR. Deputy Robert Reed, was placed on routine administrative leave pending the outcome of an investigation. It was released that David was shot two times by Officer Reed, but the autopsy proves he was shot five times with two different caliber weapons. The wife of David also stated both officers shot him after she informed them he did not have a knife. Another cover-up young blood. We will demand justice and also will be demanding you to resign. You are allowing our family to be murdered now. After reading and watching all the Bakersfield, California local news report on this case, surely looks like that the news are always going to be on the side of the cops, instead of the people. That's normal, since it only shows who the news are working for, well, we hope the news reporters have good luck inside the FEMA camps that Barry Soetero Aka Barack Obama is creating for all of us. This is enough. No more victims. We already warned the people from Kern County especially in Bakersfield, but it looks like they love the killer cops so much. So, we are only welcoming people that want to be on the people's side on the side of justice, on the side of knowledge, not on the side of the greed, the corrupt, like the pro-cops. We are always going to be commenting on every eyewitness news post and current county local news report, so we are never going to leave the internet. Even if you pro-cops hate us, like how we said, no justice, no peace not even on the internet. The wife also stated that she told the cops, her husband did not have any weapon but they still kept on shooting him eight times. So all of you people all around the world, this is another recent victim from the Kern County Killer Cops. You Kern County Cops, is time we put you guys an end, once and for all. We are anonymous. We are legion. We do not forgive. We do not forget. Kern County Killer Cops, expect us really, really soon.
Right there? Hey, watch out, that's a fail, huh? Watch out. Fuck yeah. There you go, brother. Fuck is weird. Fuck 